If you have Serum and you've been wondering what this curve does, then let me explain. So let's go ahead and just put the voicing onto mono. I'll turn on always and raise up this portamento. This is going to relate to the glide time. So the bigger the number, the longer it takes to go from one pitch to the second pitch. So the glide time is going to be slower. If I play this note, and if I increase this portamento, then the time it takes to get to each of those pitches is going to be longer. So that's how this portamento works. Let's go ahead and just put it somewhere around the middle. Now, if we go over to this curve, now let's assume that this curve, we have an X axis, which is going the horizontal and then the Y axis, which is going vertical. The X axis we will say is our time, or let's just assume it's in milliseconds. So whatever we have here, this is going to be the X axis. And then the Y axis is going to be our pitch. So when I don't touch it, it's going to be linear, a linear curve. So the speed of the pitch going from the first note to the second note is going to be constant. Now what I can do is I can click on this curve and I will drag it downward to change the shape. I'll set it to, let's say, negative 20. And what is going to happen is as I play this first pitch and then play the second pitch, so my first note to my second note, the pitch is going to slowly leave that first pitch. And then as it approaches that second pitch, it's going to quickly speed up and go into that second pitch. You can hear it a lot better when I go from that lower note to the higher note. You can hear that it slowly leaves that lower note. And as it starts to approach that higher note, it quickly gets into that higher pitch. Let's reset this curve. And as I drag it up to about 20%, the inverse is true. So as I play this first note and then play the second note, the pitch is going to quickly leave this first note. And then as this pitch approaches the second note, it will slow down and as it gets to that second note. And I can make it a bit more drastic. So let's drag it up to maybe like 30% and see how that sounds. Now for me, I notice the effect way more when I do the curve the negative way. So if I do like negative 20, if I do it that option. So play around with this curve if you are using a portamento uh, in between some of the notes. If you have like a lead that you're playing and you want to have this glide and you want to have some variation to the glide and have it not be linear, just go ahead and play around with this curve and see if it helps make your sound a bit more interesting.